Hey everybody, David Howard at Buzzboard here. We continue our series where we explore the Buzzboard Central database of some 30 million small, mid-sized, and local businesses. We do this through the lens of a digital marketing agency that's prospecting in a geo and a particular category. And this time we're going to San Diego, California, and we are looking in the photography category. So this is the homepage of Buzzboard Ignite. This is where you start and you want to prospect. So generally we divide, we think of this divided up as to prospecting or engagement. I'll show you both. So you can see up top here, we're in San Diego, categories, photographers. Now of the over 23 million businesses in the United States alone, uh, Buzzboard has surfaced some 613 small, mid-sized local businesses in the photography category in San Diego proper. And if that feels like that's too few, you can expand the radius and say not just San Diego proper, let's expand to a 25 mile radius about San Diego. So we're gonna find these and you'll see that number is going to increase. There we go. Now we're up to 846 by expanding our radius. And uh, let's see how we can now start to filter this down. So we've gotten the white, the right geo. Um, you know, there's some of the, uh, uh, the detail categories in photography. Now let's see, we only want uh, businesses that have a website. Okay, so if we narrow down on that, you're gonna see the number come down. So now we're down to 733 in the greater San Diego area. And if we're an agency that is uh, specializing in say, Facebook ads and Google ads, we might wanna narrow that down. So we'll do that, you'll see that number come down again. So it's, it's like any kind of filtering, as the more filters and layers you add on, the smaller the number of prospects is gonna be, but the more on point it is to what you're looking for. Now, the other thing a lot of agencies tell us, you see over here on the right, the 75, that's our estimated buzz score. The buzz score is a compiled value, it's, it's an index really, from zero to 100, 100 being better, uh, one or zero being not as good, and it's a measure of how digitally savvy the business is. And it's compiled from our list of thousands and thousands of signals on each business. What our agency customers tell us is there's a sweet spot in the buzz score from, let's see here, 50 to 75. So we'll, now you can see the filters here. So we'll narrow that down. You're gonna see we're now down to about 28 prospects that are in that sweet spot from 50 to 75 on the estimated buzz score. And if the, if the buzz score is too low, maybe they don't have enough digital advertising, marketing, online presence uh, that you're able to help them that much. If the buzz score is above 75, maybe they are, they've already got it under control, they're doing it themselves, um, and they don't need your help. Sweet spot, 50 to 75. That's what our agency customers tell us. Now. Once you've identified prospects that you uh, want to engage with, remember we start with prospecting, then we go to engage, you add them over here, and what this does is it copies them from this prospect tab in the central database for Buzzboard. It copies them over in here into profiles. And the profiles tab is your own individual subset of all the Buzzboard data. Now, we have some 1500 profiles in uh, this subset. And earlier I copied Lumetri Media. And they looks like they're on Silverton Avenue in San Diego. Their estimated buzz score of 67. So now our now we're looking at profiles. We're looking at how do we engage with these guys? Our AI machine, uh, you see AI here, has uh, done an evaluation and they tell us uh, Lumetri Media is a San Diego-based media production house offering high quality photography and video services for conferences, events, and heads, headshot sessions and so on. Now up here at the top, uh, you can drill down into a detailed analysis and it only takes a moment. And this detailed analysis, ta analysis takes you through several dimensions of their online presence as measured by the Buzzboard data. Uh, so you can see here, it looks like there's uh, an estimated spend, um, roughly $300 a month on Google ads, not spending in display, Facebook ads, they're doing some on Yelp ads. And um, here's a, an AI generated analysis of uh, their digital, digital ad spending. Go down to Google reviews, 
100% positive Google reviews, again, an AI analysis, social media presence, they've got a Facebook page, they've got a Twitter page, a YouTube channel. Now, what I'm going to show you in a minute is how to get this, all of this, in a uh, detailed PDF that you can download. And once you're ready to actually take them out, engage with the prospect, you can actually put this on the desk and show them. And you can present it as an arm's length analysis of their digital presence. Our agency customers love to be able to do that. They say, hey, look, this is this third party buzzboard who's done this analysis. Take a look at what they have to say. Now, let's uh, go back. I didn't show you the SWOT analysis, and I meant to. That's back over here. Um, so on the summary page, so in the context, uh, the AI machine also gives you the strength, weaknesses, opportunity, and threat analysis. So what our agency uh, customers tell us is um, these weaknesses and opportunities tend to be the greatest places that you have opportunity to provide services. So if you're an agency that focuses on digital advertising campaigns and programs, and one of these prospects has limited digital advertising presence, has a reliance on traditional uh, offline marketing methods, then when you go talk to them, you really want to stress your uh, digital advertising capabilities. What this does is really let you match your sales pitch, your proposed service, uh, services and products exactly to where their weaknesses are and the opportunities that they have. Um, so in the opportunity section, use reputation management to enhance online reviews and customer perception. Right, so that's all about are people posting Yelp reviews and are they good or are they bad and so on. So we'll get back uh, to the detail analysis in a second. Uh, what I want to show you is maybe the most exciting part. Um, in the content, we are able to generate emails and cadences. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna send this to myself because I don't actually want to send it to this small business right now. Uh, here we are. I got a couple in here. Now, what we're going to be able to do, we're going to be able to uh, basically configure what we want the AI machine to do with this email. Now, you don't have to learn prompts. You don't want to learn prompts. Um, what you want is push button generation with artificial intelligence. Now, I'm just going to say a 75 word email account. We want it to be humorous because that's fun. And um, we're going to see this get updated here. So, like I said, push button. Oh, yeah, the, the other thing I should show you is. Um, is this agency that I am acting as in this moment. Uh, we don't do LinkedIn ads. We don't do social, uh, we, we don't do social media ads. We do Google search ads. Um, we don't do wholesale sign creation. We don't do SEO, for example. So all of those products, they're configured. When you sign up with Buzzboard, um, you go in and you configure the types of products and services that you have, and then they show up here and when we do push button generate with AI, it's going to match everything we know, all the signals we know about this business with your products. And it's going to create, just like magic, uh, yes, regenerate, push button. Uh, it's going to create an email. And let's say, uh, while this is going, let's remember, uh, remind ourselves about 75 words, a humorous email tone, so that'll be fun. And there we go. So. Fancy this, you shoot life's precious snapshots, we make them internet paparazzi bait. Did you know a tan and beachy San Diego vibe sells like hot, cake hot cakes on, in hot pancakes, pardon me, hot pancakes on Instagram? But your Instagram should boast more than just seagulls loving french fries. Let's turbocharge those hashtags and show the world the magic. Lumi Lumetry Media with smart Instagram ad strategies that'll get more eyeballs than a sunset on Coronado. I've been to Coronado Island in San Diego, it is beautiful. So there you have it. That's the auto email generation. And I promised you uh, to take a look at, let's see, we'll come out of full screen here and we'll take a look at the detailed analysis quickly. So you can download this detail analysis from Buzzboard in a PDF um, or you can get it in PowerPoint. Here it is in PDF. And it's um, all those things I showed you. I'm not gonna, we don't have time to go through everything in detail here, but it's, um, all that analysis that I showed you in the platform, the Google reviews, uh, NAP, name, address, uh, phone number, um, SEO analysis, it's all there. So again, what our agency customers like to do is print this out. Um, of course, they study it and they take develop a pitch that's matched to the precise details of the business. And then when they start to engage, they'll present this to the customer as an arm's length third party analysis of their online presence. Folks love it. So that's it. 
for this time around with our data exploration series. If you want to try Buzzboard for yourself, get your hands on this yummy push button AI generation, come to the website at www.buzzboard.ai, look for the free trial button for Buzzboard Ignite. Again, that's www.buzzboard.ai, look for the free trial button. Thanks for watching.